Hello everybody, right Eggsy here, welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we started climbing up Stark Mountain, and here we're at the at, at its entrance. So let's go on inside and look for that treasure. So this one is gonna be a bit of a long one today, everybody. It is exactly what I'm thinking of. First, we gotta push this boulder. We gotta push it for a very, very, very long time. Come over here and push this boulder. We can get ourselves an item. Being an escape rope. We'll probably use that on the way out. And wild encounter. Hello, camera up. We are not interested in you. Go away, camera up. Oop, almost screw that up. Push that, push that there. Push that, now I think there's another item up here, yes. But first, we have to run into a Pokemon, apparently. And it's a Graveler. Of course you want to get in the way, Graveler. Gonna have to bring the hail down on ya. And finish you with an Ice Punch. Fuji grew to level 79. There we can find a bottle of pee pee up. Lewis, take lead. Start getting deeper into the volcano. Down here. Bunch of items in this volcano, by the way. Like a burn heel. Get this rock out of our face. Move you to the middle so that way we can access the stairs over there to get ourselves the item here, which is a full restore, and it looks like Barry is here as well. As he was briefly on screen. Damn it! What was that all about? Oh, hey, Donnie. That buck guy wiped the floor of us. Oh, man. There are always tougher trainers around everywhere. But you know what? Losing means I have room to become even tougher. That's what I... That's why there's the battle tower in the battle zone. Uh, so Buck is a powerful trainer, is he? Well, we saw him for a brief second, Ekin, but then this skull bat decided to rudely interrupt us. Go away, gold bat. Hey, Donnie, right? Your buddy challenged me to a battle earlier. Yeah, I owned that owned the little dude. Made sure he was taught a lesson. But I don't know if I could beat him again next time. Seriously, you're bound to run into someone's skill ill trainers wherever you go. Anyway, I found out about this place, but the Pokemon here are tough. What do you say we team up and go together? Here we are with Buck. I believe he's the last um battle buddy in the game. You won't regret teaming up. Uh, I'll keep your Pokemon healthy. So this is a long, big room. Why do I like volcanoes so much? I don't really have a good reason for it, but I don't really need one. There are a lot of trainers. There are a lot of ways to go. You can't take any shortcuts in this room because Buck is with you. So we have to wait until we get rid of Buck before we can use Rock Climb anywhere to take any shortcuts. 
This is why I feel this episode's gonna be a bit of a long one, because I wanna try and get everything with Buck down in this one episode, and there's just so much to do. I had a revelation this morning. I knew that I would have a wonderful encounter here today. I use my mystifying psychic powers to pulverize you. Sterning and Castley. Bring out a not to and a and, and a bonds. I was about to say bonds lie. A bow toy. All right, let's see. Uh, hmm. I'll have you deal with the bow toy, uh, Lewis. Now, Buck, if I remember correctly, he purely focuses on attacking. So, uh, he doesn't focus on, like, buffing your stats or anything. I think he's purely atta an attacker. So, for most of Buck's turns, he should be attacking and not just standing around pretending to attack. Next, we got Grumpig. Deal with that piggy. Lewis grew to level 80. Up, oh, Statue is using a future sight on us, so in the next few turns, we're gonna be attacked. Wow, how are you having trouble taking down this Satu? With a rock type move. Down goes the Satu. What is their final Pokemon? Miss Magius. One of my favorite ghost types. Time for you to go crunch, Miss Magius. Feel the crunch time. There's nothing wonderful about this. That's what I get for making idle claims. Is my sense of per premonition nothing to write home about? Psychic power is a mystery that defies explanation. But if everything could be explained, it would be a boring world. What do you have to say, Buck? There's no law that says I can be e tough or anything, but losing isn't fair to my Pokemon. After all, they try so hard for me. I think it's my responsibility as a trainer to recognize the air hard work. Come here to get ourselves an iron ball. Let's go back up. Now, I want to be careful in the directions I go, because I don't want to accidentally go in the right direction. So I want to try and fight all the trainers. Uh, I think Lola's the closest to a level up, if I remember correctly. We're all good, good to go. We just have to battle now. The trainers and Pokemon that gather here aren't pushovers. They all have tricks up their sleeves. By Monique and Abel. They send out Genghiscon and Aerodactyl. Alright, Lola, you can high jump kick the Genghiscon. Yep, especially if he's gonna use Sucker Bunch on, um, Play Doll. That Genghiscon needs to go. Lola grew to level 80.
Here comes some ancient power. All right, there's an earth swing I can high jump kick. Its circle on its belly makes for a nice target. Go for it, Lola. And this clay doll is really hated on because everybody's targeting it. Ooh, sweet, he's got an attack boost. Take down that Aerodactyl with an Ice Beam, Lola. Down goes the Aerodactyl. Now what is his last Pokemon? Oh no, that was his only Pokemon. I thought he had one more. Oh, no out of usable items. You're not a trainer that can be taken lightly. We came completely unprepared for this little adventure. The Pokemon you've met here won't make it easy for you to move, move onward. Let's go this way. Okay, so there's an item there we can't get until we get rid of Buck. Because it involves rock climb. Ooh, McCargoos! I forgot to switch out Lola! I jump geek! Down goes that that magma snail. Let's try and capture this more cargo for its deck entry. But da da da, let me access my pokeballs. Use a dust ball. One, two, three, click. We've captured Mark Cargo. Let's gain some experience points. Its body temperature is roughly 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Flame bursts from its gap in its shell, made of hardened magma. Here you go. Send you to the box. So let's go down here and find more wild Pokemon. I also forgot again to move Lola, so I'm gonna do that once we run away from this fight. Let me see here, uh, switch you for Trace. Right, there's another rock climbable wall. This has nothing. I forget if that's the way you're, no, that's not the way you're supposed to go. If I remember correctly, I think you have to go down for something. What do you expect to achieve here? I'll be the one to make that call. Are you seeking the legendary Pokemon here too? Let's battle then. Let's see, what are they gonna send out? Loudrin and Kenny sent out a uh, Bagon. Uh, yeah, we'll focus on the Loudrin. Okay. 
Trace grew to level 80. Oh, you want to learn Wild Charge. Okay. Let's get rid of Spark. Da! Trace forgot Spark and learn Wild Charge. Ooh, need to cool off from my fan. Okay, I'm definitely switching Trace out! I just look back over after turning my fan to cool off for a little bit and I see Dawn fan. Yep. Uh, I know Koshi is going to be weak against Dawn fan, but at least she's more capable of dealing it compared to Trace. A nice earth power there. Probably would have done more damage you went for the Bagon. Um, your earthquake does. Wait, does it is? All oh, right, Koshi doesn't have levitate. I thought she did. All right, Dawn fan, you are the first thing that's going to go, and also you hurt your ally. So yeah, if if uh, Buck uses uh, ancient power here, it should do enough damage to take out that Bagon, because its health is so low. Down goes the Bagon. Shilgon and Tauros. Uh, that might harm. Is Earth Power physical or is it considered special? I'm trying to remember. Like, oh, that's not gonna affect uh, Koshi much, but that might affect um, Playdoll, because I think. Because uh, I'm pretty sure Ancient Power is special, but I can't remember if Earth Power is considered special or physical. Oop, it's made Koshi angry, but confused at the same time. Let's just blast that Taurus with a Psychic and end the battle. Or we can attack ourselves instead, that's fine. Wow, they really hate Clay Doll. And Buck's Clay Doll finished the job. I think if Taurus didn't use that double edge there, I think it would have survived that uh, Earth Power. You've earned the right to be here, both you and your Pokémon. I've got nothing left. You may find it odd, but the, but the stink of sulfur from the volcano gas is what draws me here. Legendary Pokémon that sleeps deep in the volcano, could it be a dragon Pokémon? I want to slowly... Okay, yeah, this isn't the way up. Because I was about to say, if this is the way up, I need to do a 180. There's an item there that requires rock climb. Oh, uh, when I eventually come back here with Outbuck, I might throw up a repel. So I can get to all those rock climbable uh, rocks without being bothered by the wild Pokemon. Because there are two items that I found that I can't get because Buck is with me. Because while you have a, ba a battle buddy with you, you can't use uh, hidden moves like Rock Climb and Surf. 
for some unknown reason. Koshi in the lead. I was gonna say we're gonna get an item, but apparently these Pokemon wanna be rude. Get ourselves a Max Rabai, that's always lovely. What do you have to say, Buck? My big brother is one of the Elite Four. So, of course, it's only normal that I, that I would be better than ordinary folks. But that's not what I want. I want to be tough on my own terms. It wouldn't be fair or heir to the Pokemon that chose to be with me. So his brother is with the Elite Four. If you don't know it already, his brother is Flint. Uh, the only uh, key tell that he is Flint is because of his hair color. He dresses very similarly to Flint, and he also has uh, bright red hair as Flint. I think even the anime outright tells you that he's uh, Flint's brother. And I think Platinum sort of divulges that a little bit as well. Of course, you keep running into a uh, Pokemon. Unless one of you is shiny, I don't really want to fight you. Uh, let's come down here. Yeah, let's fight these trainers. I was born in Flomoroma Town. I'm sure thrilled to be here. It took a long time to get here. We're not going to lose again. I came here after winning my way through the battle tower. Next set of trainers. Skylia and... What was that? Nashali? Nashara. Uh, how effective would a Dazzling Gleam on both be? It would take out the Laudrin, but the Dun but the Dunsparce would survive. Hideyoshi gained a level up. I forgot about Hideyoshi. Oops. Incoming Rampardos. It's breaking the mold. That means our abilities won't work while this Rampardos is here. Super effective. Alright, Rampardos is weak to steel. Hit it with uh, Splash Cannon, Koshi. I do like Rampardos' design. I think it does look pretty cool. Really love to get a shinier one though someday. Down goes the sparks. Here comes Marowak. Blast it away, Koshi. And the battle's still going on, so uh, Skylia still has one more Pokemon. Oh, it's Nasara that has the Pokemon. I thought the female was Skylia. Uh, Skylia. Blastic with a Psychic, Koshi. She's so close to a level up. We are down. We went down. We couldn't stick out. But I had a win streak going on. You 
You can't level, you can level all you want, but it won't guarantee you any wins. But we'll keep trying to get better. That's what makes us trainers. Train more at the battle, battle tower. That's what I will do. All right, let's head down. That's a dead end. Okay, I'm thinking I might throw up a repel. Because I noticed both ways are blocked, and if I can't get to the bottom section of this room, I am definitely throwing up a repel. Because I think there's trainers in the bottom section, and if there's no way to the bottom section from here, then yeah, I'm going to definitely have to repel my way over there. Okay, we got some trainers. Uh, let's put uh, Fuji in the front because Koshi's going to level up no matter what. Howdy! I am crazy for karate! He, hear the howl of my iron fists! Dragons are a fury mountain. It's totally a classic setup. Black Belt Janet and Dragon Tamer Drake. Do, 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 do. Let's deal with the dragons. Ooh, critical hit. Way to go, Fuji. Koshi grew to level 88. Level 88. Level 80. Ah, he has extra sentry for his last move. So one more extra sentry should be enough to take out that Malchamp. Oh great, I'm confused. Buck, you better use extra sentry on the next turn to take out that Malchamp. Will I attack or will I hit myself? I will I will attack. This should take out the mod champ, so I don't need to worry about another dy dynamic punch. Cedra, throwing a wrench in this dragon types. But I ain't gonna save it from hammer time. Give it the hammer. Losing made it clear to me, you're crazy about Pokemon. Losing isn't a happy occasion. I love seeing po people who love Pokemon more than anything. My Pokemon seem to like it here a lot. Let's go down with- Yep, I think I'm gonna have to... Use a repel to get to the bottom section, because there's no quick way to the bottom. At least not while I have Buck with me. And I have to run, I can't ride a bike or anything. So we'll go back to the right way once we've gone back to the beginning to explore the bottom half of the, of the place. Alright. Wait, that's a strength rock, isn't it? Yeah, we can push this. Let's battle. 
My Pokemon can destroy anything! And you think you can win? With one mighty flap, my bird birds blow away the embers of aggression. Let's see if that if uh, your birds can blow us away. Hey, Black Belt Ray and Bird Keeper Crystal. Seeing Crystal spelt like that reminds me of Star Fox. Oh, I would love to do a Let's Play of Star Fox Adventures, but there's just one part of that game for anybody that's played that game. You would probably know. It's like it's like the middle half of the game. It's like, uh, the little foot, the, like the, the foot, like the little foot clan or whatever the heck they call themselves. Oh, so you have to do their tests. The train for, test of strength is absolute bullshit. And the uh, Kosoa spirit you need to go after. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody that's played that game or even heard of that game knows about the test of fear. That is absolute bullshit incarnate. I would love to do a let's play of, that, of those games, but oh my god. Those are, that's one part of the game I would not look forward to if I ever did that. If I ever did that as a let's play, if I can't get past those two uh, things, I would probably make sure I would have a save file that is past those two things. So that way I'd be like, okay, I am skipping this part of the game, so that way I can actually continue with the let's play. Because screw showing those off, even though they are required. I could maybe do Star Fox Adventures someday as like a third LP project. Probably something I might up uh, like upload on weekends. Especially if I have anything else going on and especially if I need time to uh, actually beat that part of the game. <laughs> anyway, back to this battle. I think they are both down to their last Pokemon, so let's uh, freeze this Spearow. Fuji level up to level 80. Wow, how's Lola closer to a level up than uh, Lewis? Yeah, your frash does nothing. Oh no, the... The black belt has two Pokemon? Cosmic power. A balloon. Something that Fuji can easily destroy with an ice punch. Both Lola and Lewis grew to level 81. We weren't up to the task. We failed to get off the ground. Trace take point. Even though my team could break bricks and shatter boulders, they failed to dent your spirits. The hidden move fly isn't useful inside caves. It's such a shame. Uh, up there is an item we can't go grab yet. We can't use those rock climb walls. Here's a bottle of calcium. Come 
back over here. Let's throw up another repel. Come up here. Yeah, we can find a uh, pushable boulder, which will lead to, I believe, another item and, and a fight. We bring with Pokemon. Being with Pokemon makes me happy, and when we win, I feel happier still. My Pokemon and I are pretty nice, but not when it comes to battle. Stefan, and who's the other trainer? Jasmine. Let's see, uh, Trace, we'll have you deal with the, uh, Dropin. Cause he's the bigger threat compared to the uh, Lavitar. BAM! Four bucks, uh, Clay Doll could take out Lavitar in one hit. Marcargo. It's the only Pokemon left. Give it a sapping, Trace. Ooh, critical hit too. Way to go. We're still happy even when we lose. I couldn't unleash the real me. Raising Pokemon to the extremes, having fun with Pokemon. People should do whatever makes them happy, that's what I think. When you're raising Pokemon, you need to be both firm and gentle. Down here we can get the TM50 Overheat. Basically a fire type attack that is starting off very strong, but the more you use it, the more it lowers your special attack, so the move gets, uh, uh, so it basically makes you get weaker and weaker per use. Now over here, you can find the flame plate, which is hidden. There is text engraved in the back of the attained plate. Two beings of time and space set free from the original one. Uh, nothing up here. I think there's another set of trainers down here. And I think that's the last set of trainers we uh, we can find and fight. Then we can go back the way we're supposed to go. Throw up another repel, please. Alright, so we have to go... Take a really long path. We have to go this way around. Uh, do I need to switch my lead party? No, I do not. Come all the way over here, and I believe these are the last two trainers of this area? You come all this way for Pokemon? You must be dedicated. WHY DIDN'T THE OTHER TRAINER ACTIVATE?! Cassandra. Well, we're gonna have to take her on by ourselves because apparently the other because apparently Cassandra's partners felt like no I don't feel like battling today. You can handle this on your own Well, this video got artificially longer because of that I didn't even know it was even possible Switch out Trace with uh, Hideyoshi. Burn that carnivine.
Your dedication won out. The Pokemon here must battle each other all the time. That would explain why they're so strong. What does it mean to win battles? That is what I seek. Teach me if you will. I don't know why you didn't decide to join in your battle with Cassandra, Kanan. He's got a primate. that prime ape a sappin Ah, oh, Trace is so close to a level up. Yep, not having uh, Trace fight Torkoal. I don't think he has any good moves against it. Because Torkoal is... I believe Fire Rock or Fire Steel, if I remember correctly. I know it's a dual type. Either way, it should be weak to Hideyoshi's fighting type moves. Break it apart, Hideyoshi. Or not? Isn't Torkoal part rock or steel? I'm pretty sure it's a dual type. Watch, it's probably a pure fire and I'm thinking it's a dual type. Trace Green level 81. I grow less certain still. Perhaps there is no meaning to victory, but still, I will battle. That's what makes me a trainer. Yoshi, take point. Let's go down here and grab a rare candy. Now we need to go all the way back. All the way back to where we was, so that way we can uh, continue through the cave. So I think that's the last set of trainers in here. I wish we could rock climb, but because we have Buck with us, that is not a possibility. I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, because this is the way we came. Go this way. I'll need to put a, on a repel the next time I come back here, too, because there's like three or four. Uh, yeah, there's like, I think, two or three items we can't get because we're with Buck. Come up here, go around here, and that should take us to the stairs. Once we push this boulder out of the way, we'll be where we need to be. Push, 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 push. Here we go. There we go. There's the exit. My instincts tell me that the volcano's treasure's just ahead of us. We might be the toughest there is besides me. See you around, Donnie. <laughs> Check this out, Donnie. This is the Magma Stone, the treasure of Stark Mountain. Since I found it, that makes me the greatest trainer out of everyone. Thank you, boy. You helped it all it happen. Oof. Whoa, wow. <laughs> that was wicked. Volcano in shock from that. It might be so shocked it will erupt. Nah, that can't happen. See ya, Donnie. Say hi to Sippy Trainer, buddy. Before we end off the episode, let's head back to the survival area. Why can I not use an escape rope in here? This is part of the cave!
Let's fly to survival. And check out this house with the old man. You say the magma stone was found? Does that mean the legend was true? If so, the Pokemon the volcano may awaken and cause an eruption. Gotcha, Gramps. I'll put the magma stone back. That magma stone was keeping the Pokemon the volcano under control. It's all right, though. I can go put it back myself. Well, that seems like an interesting predicament. After this long episode, we'll end things off here, and in the next episode, we'll go check on Buck back at the volcano, as well as grab, I think, the free items we couldn't get because Buck was with us. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the video, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode, and share the video so that more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. I will see you all next time. Later.